karma is an insidious thing. It always kicks in at the most inopportune moment. And it was with it that the people in today's episode faced who distinguished themselves by their behavior on the roads. This is Infinity, and in this episode you'll see instant karma moments on the road caught on camera. You know why you shouldn't argue with a driver in a big car? Because they got plenty of room in the car, and you never know what they have in the back seat. In this story, for example, the dude had a bat with him, and he was happy to teach the rude man in the car who tried to cut him off. The main thing is that if you ever find yourself in such a situation, do not fall for provocations, but just watch these evil people and call the police. In short, do exactly what this guy did. An inadequate driver attacked him, accusing him of not letting him go. The man was so enraged by this that he even started hitting the window of the author of the video. The most interesting thing is that the author of the video did not respond to the aggression with aggression. He simply got into his car and followed the aggressor, filming his license plate on the DVR and talking to the police. According to the author of the video, the cops soon caught up with the offender and he paid a hefty compensation for his behavior. Sometimes, of course, watching the reaction of angry drivers is an invaluable activity. The way veins appear on their forehead and their eyes fill with rage is incredibly funny, and at the same time it's sad that people waste their last nerves on such ridiculous things. When you park in front of someone's boat or trailer, these people are unlikely to be happy because by this action, you block them and do not allow them to get to the transport from the right side. There's no way to fight this, I thought, but it turned out that it was possible. To do this, you just need to have a powerful car and a cable at hand, which you tie to the rude person's wheel and take them to the side. It's desirable to take the car far away so that they suffer and search for the car. But if you suddenly find yourself in the place of the one on whom they take it out, and you'll understand that you're not really to blame, don't worry, karma always knows who was right and who was wrong. Here's another perfect example. An elderly man decided to engage in vandalism and with the help of his hammer, knocked on the working machine. He walked around it on the other side and was already heading for his house. But what bad luck! Wanting to harm the workers even more, he himself got into a hole. He got stuck in cement, and in this position he waited for the police, who gave him a ticket. But what did he do so bad, right? How do you feel about race movies? It seems to me that they have a negative effect on all drivers, or at least on a certain number of them. After watching another Fast and Furious movie, someone may want to misbehave on the roads and, for example, burn rubber right in traffic. If you didn't know, this is prohibited by the rules. Fortunately, they're immediately punished by karma, as in this video. Yes, now you know that in Sydney, police officers drive around not only in work cars but also in their BMWs with built-in flashing lights. These two in the following video were standing right by the road and for some reason didn't think that one of the cars could drench them. Luck seemed to protect them all this time and didn't allow the transport to harm the teenagers, but the protection lasted exactly as long as they themselves did not do some stupid thing. Showing disrespect and splashing on a passing car, the guys instantly killed all their karma and immediately received a payback from fate. With people who drive into pedestrian paths or crosswalk, you need to fight this way. How do you like this idea? Personally, I really liked it, and I was especially surprised by how the whole family <laughs> performed it together, as if they were preparing for this or doing it not for the first time. You should always obey traffic rules, even if you're driving somewhere in the woods outside the city. At the very least, because sometimes police officers pass by there too. And if they notice that you've crossed two white lines to overtake, you'll be in trouble. And if you're going to drive on a road where there's only one lane, then it's better to remove your ego and give way to someone who will drive towards you. Why do you need this conflict? See what can come out of it. The people in the green car were very unhappy that they were not given way. They left the salon and attacked the excavator driver. Fortunately, the cameraman stood up for him and won the necessary seconds of time. For what? Now you'll see it for yourself. The next situation, it seems to me, will be familiar to everyone. People think they're smarter than everyone else and choose to go around the traffic jam in the extreme lane where it's forbidden to drive. 
We can only hope for such teachers and trucks who do not let anyone go. Do you think the truck driver is doing the right thing? I think this video should get the maximum public response because it proved that a person with back pain is instantly cured by the sight of a camera. Two friends wanted to make money from a fake car accident, but they immediately ran away when they found out that the driver had a DVR. One can be a policeman, not only by profession, but also in their heart. And in general, it's not even necessary to be a human being. For example, the bear from this clip manages to keep order on the road and to make sure that no one exceeds the speed limit. Remember the video where the family stepped over the car on the crosswalk? Well, if that one seems too cruel for you, see the next one. I wonder if I'm the only one who looks at all these videos and realizes that karma exists after all and no one can argue with that. Sometimes people's reactions to not giving way can seem strange to say the least. I don't even know who to support in such a situation. I'd rather support the monkey that ran out of the woods and wherever it wanted. It had a family, parents or babies. Why does it run away from them? Would it really remember the way back? Although, judging by the reaction of the residents of Texas, this is the usual thing for them, and it's not the first time it happens. During bad weather, and especially strong winds, you should not drive on the road. If you think you're just going to be careful, realize that sometimes nothing depends on you at all. If luck wasn't on the driver's side at that moment, they'd have to buy a new car. Being a farmer's hard enough. Attachment to your cattle is not an easy matter. Although, I don't even know who's more attached to whom. Man to animals or animals to man. You can watch endlessly how the goats do not let go of their owner who's going to leave. Being a thief isn't easy. It's an occupation in which you're constantly deceiving everyone and you can be easily fooled, even the people you trust the most. The lady in the video stole something and ran back to her car. However, her partner decided to get rid of the one with whom he'd later share the profits. To prevent this from happening, I mean to prevent anyone stealing anything, it's absolutely necessary to get a pet. And I don't mean a dog, look what cats can do. The furball thought that the delivery man was deceiving somehow and it immediately jumped on his back waiting for its owner. In the next video, at first I thought the kangaroo was purposely walking the driver home at such a late hour. But after its 180 degree turn and that surprised look on its face, I think the kangaroo was not happy with what was happening. Lucky for the driver, he was in a closed vehicle and not on a motorcycle, and certainly not on his feet. I seem to have found a new way for delivery people to do their job. They play catch up with the mailboxes and touch them with their van. And here, two show-offs met. One decided to stop suddenly to show off in front of people, while the other was in too much of a hurry. There's no right or wrong here. It seems to me that both drivers are worthy of each other. I don't understand why a person who doesn't drive very well got into such a big car and decided to park backwards. Even with the help of this woman, he didn't succeed, and he just scratched the car standing next to him. But I'm not worried. Considering the videos that we've already watched, karma's definitely waiting for him. We don't support road rage, but instant karma always does. Why were they touching that barrier? Oh, and this is another video of a friend betraying his thief friend. Once again, the bully girl is left alone to face justice, where she doesn't stand a chance. What should you do if the firefighters arrive at the scene, but a car parked in the wrong place prevents them from getting to the hydrant? That's right, you have to pull the fire hose right through it, breaking the windows. How do you help animals now? A man approached these cuties, wanting to help them up the driveway, and the mother took it as an attempt to attack them. I don't know what the car on the side did to the man on the bike, but no one and nothing escapes karma. A cold shower was provided for the rude man. Maybe at least this way his brains will be fixed. Are you afraid of spiders? No. Maybe you still think a car will save you from them. Well, these arthropods will catch up with anyone, anywhere. Not only was the man in the video crossing the road in the wrong place, but he was also looking at the driver in an insolent manner, trying to humiliate him. Well, that's okay. Justice was restored very soon. It's a shame that our roads have such bad drivers. How do they even get the car started? Well, what do you think? Will he be able to park? That's right, he won't. 
Apparently, there are more and more people stealing each other's packages. Luckily, security cameras are doing an excellent job catching them. The criminal went to jail the very next morning. You think because you have a cool car, you're allowed to overtake others even in the wrong place? Nope, you're not. Come here to the cop. When I saw the next video for the first time, I thought there was going to be another round of yelling and screaming at whoever pissed off the driver in front. But no, this was not the case. The man just got out of the car and stood there freezing on the spot. I wonder if I'm the only one who felt uneasy because of his expression. I think this method is very good. You can use it. The farmer noticed how the driver of the SUV decided to shorten the road and go around the traffic jam in his field. The man was not confused and waited until he drove out to him. As a result, a clear throw of the fish directly into the windshield of the rude man. I don't think he's going to drive here anymore. I wonder how the girl ended up in that position in the first place. Did she take a sudden turn? Was she scared of something? Or did her brakes fail? Share your thoughts in the comments. Going to the beach in your car is very pleasant. The main thing at this point is not to lose your vigilance and not to be in the sun too long. Because in the case you risk forgetting about the tide and, as a result, lose your car. I don't even know who in this video was luckier, a racer in a retro car who skittled or a driver with a DVR into whom he didn't crash. Just imagine, you're bypassing all the other cars, you're in a big hurry to get somewhere, you take a risk and then you get in the wrong lane and all those who you overtook a couple minutes ago are calmly passing you, waving. Never change your decisions, especially if they violate traffic rules and there's a policeman in front of you, otherwise it'll end badly. How many cars passing the traffic on the side of the road did you count? So did you remember everyone? And now check if they're all standing here now and waiting for their turn to get a ticket from a policeman. When someone drives right in front of you out of line, it's infuriating. This is the only way to deal with such insolence. If you drive an SUV, use this method. If you get mad and angry on the road, this is the only way to do it. Make some noise for this dancer. Well, I didn't think that truck drivers would love to mock those who cut them off. I thought they didn't do it because their cars aren't good for that. But it turns out the main thing is to have a desire, and it doesn't matter what you're driving. You're standing on a crosswalk, looking somewhere, thinking about your own things, and then bang, and a balloon with a person inside flies right in front of you. <laughs> what would your reaction be? Now that's what I call a professional. It's incredibly dangerous, but it's also insanely cool. I wonder how long it took the motorcyclist to learn how to do that. And that's what happens when you watch professionals like that motorcyclist and go to do the same on your own vehicle. I think I found the perfect 21st century screamer. We don't need any scary faces anymore. Or maybe this one would be more appropriate. Which one do you think is more worthy? You always have to be on your guard. You never know what's going to happen. Suddenly, I don't know, someone will start their loud car right in front of you. If I'm not mistaken, it's illegal to drive and ride something like that at all. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. That's what I call a person that doesn't worry at all about the condition of the car they're transporting, although it probably can't be worse. Actually, we don't need cars. We could get on a board and go to the water, just like the guy in the next video. I think it looks quite funny and unusual. I've always wondered what would happen if, at the last second, you drove over the opening ramp at the railroad tracks. Judging by the way the scooter flew up, it's not something you'd want to try in a car. And that's you when you didn't agree with your partner on who was driving today. I hope the guys had time to get in the car and stop it, because it was already speeding up quite a bit. I would describe the attitude of people to their work from the last video with this clip. The way the guys dance right on the bus, I won't even ask how they got there and are holding on so well and confidently. If you have a party and have a lot of balloons with you, don't be stingy. Share a piece of happiness with other people. It'll be nice for them. Show me the people who say that dinosaurs are already extinct. What do you think this is? Are you saying it's Photoshop? And what is definitely not Photoshop is this awesome drift by a policeman. Apparently, somewhere at their heart, even the officers of the law sometimes want to get naughty. That stunt was really a 10 out of 10. This is exactly what a driver who's watched the clips on the internet on the topic of spare tires looks like. Looks like we have a new kind of taxi allowing llama transportation. This can't but please. 
If you ride a bike, don't think you're allowed to relax a bit on the road. Just one second of using a smartphone can cost you an unpleasant situation like this. Is this man who directs traffic on the road sure he didn't drink anything on the night of January 1st? Although, you know, let's not check it. He amuses everyone around him and at the same time copes with the work. And this is the most important thing. I remember putting a bottle in my bike wheels as a kid to make the sound seem better. Now it seems that some people still have such funny thoughts, <laughs> even as they get older and have their own car. Only now they want it to sound as funny as possible. What do you do if you haven't had time to fix your windshield wipers and it's already raining? That's right, invent a mechanism to clean the windshield on the go. Even cars occasionally want to cool off in an ice pool. I think there's nothing wrong with that. It's worth understanding. Who do you think dances better? The one in the Christmas hat or this one right here? I think they're both good in their own way. I wonder what's in the minds of people who do such stupid things. Even if the driver didn't have a video recorder, what would the poor guy charge him with? That his shirt was dirty and that's why he hit him with the car? It's a good thing that in this case, caught on camera, there were no casualties. Although devastating incidents have been caught on camera. Let's start with one of the most spectacular and terrifying landslides ever caught on camera. It took place in 2004 in the Japanese city of Nara. The footage shows a blocked section of a mountain road. It was blocked by specialists who are not in the footage and who are inspecting the damage. So far, nothing terrible is happening, but suddenly a devastating landslide begins to come down. It feels like literally half the mountain is sliding down, destroying the road, dragging trees and poles down with it, and destroying everything in its path. The landslide moves into the cliff, and in a few seconds, everything stops. But during those few seconds, several tons of soil shifted, the road was destroyed, and the specialists had to inspect the new damage. This is what it looks like from the aerial view. Incredibly, despite such a terrifying landslide, no one was even hurt. It's hard to imagine how these people felt as the mountain literally melted before their eyes. It happened in early March 2019 in Kashmir, which is controlled by India. Chunks of rock and trees fell away from the mountain as easily as if it were some kind of cookie rather than a solid mass. In the end, a whole hole was left in the mountain. It's amazing that something like this could happen in a matter of seconds. Fortunately, no one was injured in this case either, but the road had to be closed. And here's something even more frightening. This incident also took place in India in the state of Himachal Pradesh. In the footage, you can see how the land starts to crumble from the mountain and then a huge layer of it moves down. The last one is especially terrifying. Visually, it seems as if the mountain has collapsed. Unlike previous cases, the layer didn't fly down somewhere at once, but only slid a few dozen meters and then slowly continued to move. As a result, we have a ruined highway, a destroyed mountain, and unforgettable emotions that the witness got. So far, all the cases I've shown you have happened at a fairly distant distance from people. Let's raise the degree of tension. In this footage, we see a car with a driver. He's driving along a mountain road. The driver noticed something coming down the mountain, so he immediately stopped and started to drive backwards. Soon, a large landslide came down from the mountain, which would have killed the driver if he had only driven a few seconds faster. Next, we have the situation on the high mountain. The drivers managed to stop before they would have been crushed by this devastating rockfall. Now they'll have to look for a detour because this road is destroyed. Here's a similar case, only it was filmed from a greater distance. Boulders fly down the mountain, smashing the road and falling into the river. When it seems that everything's over, the second wave starts and more boulders smash the road to pieces. This is roughly what it looks like up close case is different, but you can check out the destructive power of rock slides. In the sea, don't think that landslides are related only to mountains. Such a natural cataclysm can also occur on a flat surface, as the following video, shot in Norway a couple of years ago, confirms. We see a coastal settlement with a few houses, which suddenly begins to tear away from the mainland. A huge layer of land simply crawls out to sea as if it had been torn off like a piece of paper. It all happened so easily. After a while, the massive sinks along with the buildings. As many as eight houses and 2,000 feet of land were submerged. Afterwards, the houses were thrown back on the shore. You can see what the whole thing has become. After the catastrophe, it was chaos. The only good news is that no one was injured as a result of the cataclysm. 
Imagine you're at the foot of a mountain and dozens of multi-ton boulders are coming at you at breakneck speed, destroying everything in their path. I don't think anyone would want to see that in person. Unfortunately, the residents of India had to deal with such a phenomenon, but they still filmed everything on video. Apparently, the giant rockfall was caused by the monsoon season in India, which provokes devastating cataclysms. Despite the devastation and horror of landslides and rockfalls, you have to admit that some of them look quite beautiful and breathtaking. Or, for example, this rockfall that came down from a mountain in Prianzo, Switzerland. Huge boulders come down in a wide layer, destroying the forest beneath them. When the rockfall was over, footage was taken from below at the foot of the mountain, and we can now see the aftermath. One of the worst landslides in recent years occurred in Myanmar in 2020. In early July, there was a disaster at a local jade mine. Torrential rains eroded the mountains and a massive landslide occurred. A huge pile of rock fell into the pit, causing a mud wave that was 20 feet high. Footage shows miners trying with all their might to escape the approaching wave. Some managed to escape, but others were still caught by the wave. Miraculously, some of those who were hit by the wave managed to survive and make it to shore. Even so, the disaster took many lives and was one of the most devastating in the country's history. Himalayas Conquering the Himalayan mountains is a very dangerous, risky, and even deadly activity. Climbers face extreme weather, challenging routes, and boulders that can start rolling at any second. Mountaineers filmed just such footage when a massive rockfall occurred in the Himalayas. A pile of rocks and boulders rushed down and plunged into the gorge. There was so much mass, and it moved so fast, that at one point a stone waterfall appeared, crushing everything in its path. Fortunately, people were not hurt by the rocks. They managed to get to a safe distance. And once again, we're on a mountain, this time on the Mount Rainier stratovolcano in the U.S. state of Washington. A large rockfall on the American glacier was filmed by climbers who were nearby. This rockfall, which occurred in 2011, was one of the largest ever recorded. Rocks, ice, snow, dust, and everything else rolled down the mountainside with a roar that could be heard and felt from many miles away. This is one of the most recent incidents, which took place in early 2022. The footage shows tourists boating in a famous tourist spot in the Brazilian state of Minas Gerais. Suddenly, a huge piece of rock broke off and fell straight into the tourist boats. As a result of the fall, three boats were damaged. Two of them sank and more than 30 people were injured. The most likely cause of the incident was water pressure near the canyons. Geologists believe it caused rocks and rock structures to collapse. It's eerie how quickly things can happen and how a pleasant vacation can become a real nightmare in a matter of seconds. Landslide in Shenzhen On December 20, 2015, the large southeastern Chinese city of Shenzhen was hit by a huge landslide. The colossal landslide occurred in the new Kuangming district and covered a gigantic area of a million square feet, turning it into a sea of red mud. The landslide was so huge and destructive that in some places, the mud layer was 33 feet high. The cataclysm destroyed more than three dozen buildings, including residential buildings, as well as offices, factories, and workshops. Usually, such cataclysms occur on their own because of some natural anomaly, but in this case, people were to blame. For two years, the land left over from construction had been dumped near the industrial area without any safety precautions. When heavy rains hit Kuangming, they eroded the soil and caused a debris mountain to move, which turned into a landslide and swept away everything in its path. The following video begins with the camera filming an ordinary mountain forest. Suddenly, a landslide of rocks and mud begins to come down from the top of the mountain. It rushes downwards, ripping out the trees by the roots. It looks very powerful and creepy. It reminded me of the scenes from the Lost TV series, when the monster on the island tore out trees in the jungle in the same way. And here, the landslide's already reaching the bottom and approaching the cameraman. It seems that everything's over, but it's not. A few seconds later, a second landslide comes down from the top. Once again, we return to the mountain roads that are dangerous to drive on. The protagonist of the following video, who was driving along an Alaskan road, was convinced of this when he suddenly stopped. Ahead of him, he found rocks that were falling on the road. Every second, the rocks got bigger and bigger, and after a couple of seconds, the trees started to fall. The following footage would be great for a disaster movie, because it's a real action here. Tourists from Bolivia were trying to hike a trail in the local mountains when a landslide suddenly begins to fall. 
It goes right through the hiking trail, and the hikers scatter in different directions, some running up and some running down. Some didn't manage to get through, and the mud flow sucked them in. The footage shows people slowly rolling down with the whole destructive mass. You've already seen that landslides can be serial. First, there was one wave, then the second. This is exactly what happened a couple years ago in Pakistan, in Gilgit, Baltistan. Only this time, the series of colossal landslides was so powerful that it literally created a river of mud and large rocks. The mud river that came down was destroying everyone and everything in its path, including the buildings below. Not a trace was left of many of them. This landslide may have seemed to last a few minutes or hours, but this cataclysm was far more persistent. Landslides continued to hit Gilgit Baltistan serially for several days, leaving the locals with no peace. Many of them couldn't evacuate as no one risked crossing the muddy river that had formed. The disaster was one of the most serious in Pakistan's history. And finally, a little bit about the consequences that remain after landslides and rockfalls. For example, these are the consequences of boulders coming down in Italy. In 2014 in northern Italy, there was a rockfall due to a landslide, as a result of which heavy boulders at high speed rolled several hundred meters and literally crushed the building that was blocking their way. The fastest boulder destroyed a barn built in the 18th century and rolled onward. By some miracle, the biggest boulder stopped just a few meters from a two-story apartment building with people in it. That's an unbelievable luck. In general, everyone was lucky because no one was hurt. Well, the traces of the rockfall speak for themselves. These boulders left nothing behind them. And here are the epic consequences of the landslide that occurred near the city of Cusco in Peru. The earth literally burst at the seams. A giant piece fell off the hill, which was covered with deep cracks and fractures. The creepy thing is that no one's safety is guaranteed, and yet life in the mountains is very dangerous, though interesting. That's all, guys. Which rockfall or landslide impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you later.